Like I think the kids enjoyed uh, learning. I think they enjoyed participating. And pretty much as a teacher, I fed off of the students and their needs. So since I saw them going towards uh, common denominators, we worked in that direction. So it's very important as a teacher to listen to what the students' responses are and, and move forward from there. Like, I don't get it that much. You don't get it. Does somebody in this group get it? Do you get what's being asked? Like, I, don't I don't get it either. I don't get it that much either. Like, I understand it, but I don't know Okay, so let's talk. Let's there talk about it. More, more brown eggs and the oh. old hand out. That's what you think too, but you don't know how to get there. Oh, so you kind of did what, what Jonathan did in problem two. Yeah, so the common denominator is 30. Okay, so I want you to talk to Amanda and I want you to show Ali. First of all, show me how, because you've got your work really organized here and you separated it and you've labeled things. I want you to give them the first step on, on to first understand the problem. So go ahead and, and let them know what they need to know. It's asking which one has which one produces more brown eggs, right? Yes. Okay, so the old hen house produces four out of ten. Okay. Like over ten. Yeah. Okay. The new hen house one over three. Okay. So if you make this one and this one you find the common denominator, it will be thirty. Yes. So you multiply ten times three. Exactly, you're four times three. Okay, so show show Amanda too. Oh, okay, I get it. You're getting it? Yeah. Discuss that with Jonathan, because I think Jonathan needs. What did you come up when you increased the numbers of um, white eggs to thirty? Why did you do that? Why did you increase the number to 30? That's what I want to know. So I want to go there. Which one has the... Okay, so it's four. Like, which one has the So the old one has more brown eggs. Like, like four of them. The old one has the old one. So now. Okay. So okay. So and by having the same denominators? The difference between the new and 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 the new. You don't want to combine it, because then if you combine it, can you compare it? Okay. No. Okay, so we're going to compare. Which one has more? You tell me, what answer did you come up with? Okay. And I like your method. If necessary, uh, the best way is to speak to that child individually. Uh, uh, show them the problem and, and clear up the misconception. And to find out as a, a teacher, if he understood, have him demonstrate by completing another problem. I need you all to please try number four independently. I'm going to collect it before the end of class. You have about five minutes to complete that problem, so please go ahead, take the time, and do this one independently. And please, you can look back at questions one, two, or three to assist you in solving this problem. Yes, please take it off. I'm going to be collecting it. It is going to be for a grade, so put your name on both. the assignment, the questions, they needed to complete the remaining questions on the worksheet. And then after collecting them, I was able to analyze his questions and he was able to answer it correctly.